Okay, so we're having problems with our main slide and the side skis. Here's the one by the entry door. It's pretty good and it's not damaged. But the problem is not there. The problem's over here on the other side. Oh man, look at all that. It's actually not that bad. That's flex tape that I've been putting on after every move just to keep the water out until I get a chance to fix it. And as you can tell, one time in and out destroys the flex tape. And I end up having to pull it off and put new on, but again, again, it's just there to help with water intrusion. But we just got new slide skis from Amazon. And I didn't know when I was gonna be able to fix it, but conveniently, a mobile RV tech just drove by and I waved him down. He's gonna come back over here and help me change it out. We're also gonna adjust this slide, so hopefully we can prevent this from happening in the future. Good morning, and as you can tell, it's a different day. I got my hoodie on, it's much cooler today. So the tech came by two days ago and took a look at the slide ski and said it'd be no problem to fix it. So he's on his way first thing this morning to get started, so I'm gonna help him out. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this flex tape off so when he gets here, we can go straight to fixing it. Okay, so that flex tape is pretty awesome. It's pretty hard to get off, but check this out. So this is part of our slide ski, what's left of it. And as you can see, that's the way it looks when it has it right on the wood when the slide ski is gone. There's a little bit of it too. But you see this, that's water getting in. So we're gonna have to address that at some point. But that's why I was putting the flex tape on because when it first got damaged, I didn't realize how damaged it was. And water was actually coming down here and running into the wood right here. In order to do this job, we have to operate the slide. But I'm gonna show you all a trick that most people may not know or not understand how it works. So if you have hydraulic slides, you actually have two needle valves that control each slide individually. So mine is right here in my propane compartment. And these are called needle valves. And what it does, it controls the speed and or the movement. So if you close it, which all are the right, they won't move. If you turn it just a little bit to the right, you can actually slow it down and make the slides go in and out smoother and slower if you want. So in my case, I just want the living room slide to move and I want the kitchen slide to stay still. Well, this is my kitchen slide. So I turned it all the way to the right. So now when I operate the slides, just this one will go in and out and the kitchen slide will stay still. If I wanted the kitchen slide to move and the living room to stay still, I would swap it. I would close this one all the way off, which would make that slide stay still and I'd open this one back up, which would make the kitchen slide move. Anyway, that's how we camp at truck stops too. Whenever we don't have the room to get all the slides out, we'll just open this one and leave the bedroom and the kitchen in. That way we don't risk getting hit by a truck. He just got here and we just moved the slide halfway in so you can get some of the screws out and then we're gonna pull the slide back out and go ahead and get the side trim off and get the slide ski off. Okay, so he just took those screws out and now we're gonna slide the slide back out so we get the ski out. When you first looked at it and I told you I tried to fix it, you said I actually made it worse. Why is that? With the with the adjustment as for you 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 stuck the gunk up under here, correct? Yes sir. And so when you stuck the gunk up under there, it, it had the void um, between the plastics. So with that void being set out like this basically it allowed it to uh crack because um, it had to write on the void and not correct. on the wood yes so with it not being tight um so you sandwiched it left a void in there like this so it allowed it to crack and crack all the way around which caused the the damage um that we're seeing here so basically i thought i was doing good and i actually made it worse to an extent yes sir all right good to know so he's got the old side ski off and all the side trim off now he's cleaning the area up He's about to get his jack out. We're gonna lift the whole slide up so we can work on getting the new side ski installed. Oh, you broke it. <laughs> so anyway, he's got it lifted up now and that back piece, that's his feel good piece. 
So if this jack falls, he don't smash his hand. So it definitely gonna, said trim to fit when yeah. I ordered it. So we're going to have to uh, most definitely slide it back. See what we got on this side overlay wise. Um, measure it. Cut it off the other end. It's pretty close. So about an inch. A little mm -hmm. less. I'm going to go right at three quarters. Because if we have a little gap on the outside. There's nothing I can put a little sealant on. Okay. Um, I'd rather it be tight here. He just dry fitted the new slide ski and we're going to have to trim it some so it'll line up with the inside and with the outside. Once we get it lined up and trimmed, we're going to go ahead and install it permanently. Okay, so tell me, what are you going to put on it for uh, as far as adhesion? This is the 3M weatherproof. This is the, uh, the, the everlasting stuff right here. This is the all weather, you know. Uh, Would you say it's better than the uh, factory stuff? Yeah. The, oh, yeah? the factory stuff was the white 3m it's uh it's made for more or less the internal stuff the stuff you would see hanging on a uh um you know your little wall tab okay that you could put in there you stretch off so like the 3m off. command strips yes yes most definitely this stuff right here is the 3m indoor outdoor this is what they glue your vinyl badges on a vehicle on okay um it's it's the you know ever you know always there type stuff now do you put it on the bottom and the side or just the bottom now i'm gonna put it just on the bottom right here if we put it on the side the way that we were discussing how it kicks out it's gonna be useless right there okay now up in the front part right here i am gonna put it on the side because that is just gonna touch strictly floor up in there okay so we'll go down right here we're gonna kick over here and we're gonna put a little bit right in this area right here He has the new ski installed with just the tape on the bottom side. Now he's going to get his air tools out and he's going to staple this top piece in so that we can have it nice and tight. That way there's not a void right here that it rides on causing it to crack again like the original one did from the factory. You got to tack it. Why not seal this before we adhere our trim back up? Because if it does leak down inside of here, we have an extra layer of protection. Yeah. To, you know, to so it don't run down inside and, and it hit the floor. Exactly, because uh, wooden floor is not like water, right? Yeah. All right. So what are we gonna do now? We took the the foam that wasn't doing anything off of there, and we're gonna actually put the, the bugle tape, the putty tape, on here. Um, probably double layer it um, so that when we when we fasten it down it it's you know it sandwiches it squishes out a little bit like bubble yeah. gum that's what we want and that's what makes a uh, that what makes a solid surface if water is to run up under there it, and see if we were not to double it up it's not going to see right now it's still pointless. yeah it's not doing anything now we have a little layer yeah so when you down. when you when it sandwiches down the screws fast you'll in, compress it in it's going to compress and it's basically it's a it's a top it's an undercoat slide ski installed okay so now that he has the slide ski installed we're gonna make adjustments on this main slide to prevent some of the problems we've been having ever since I made a slight adjustment to keep it from hitting the fireplace when fully retracted he said I was close but he's gonna show me how to do it the right way okay so right now we're working on fixing this slide so uh, what I did originally is I made that almost even all the way down where the, the slide falls off this, uh, whatever you call this ramp. Yes, sir. It wasn't. On your end, it was actually up higher. Gotcha. 
So like I I made it match like the same measurement almost. I just yes. tried to make it flat because when it first had the problem, it was up on top of this and you could clearly hit it with your foot. Like the slide wasn't down all the way. Yes, sir. But I made another problem, which you'll see in a minute on the outside. Just, just bump it in a little bit at a time until it hits. And you're gonna see right here, it starts to flex that off. More? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So you see how it starts to flex that? Mm -hmm. And then you go over there, they can see how tight it is right here. Yeah. And then over here, it's still compressing it, but it's clearly not, not as tight. I got you. Adjust the cylinder in so the slide out will not go as far in. Okay. If you get what I'm saying. And then what you did over here, we're going to have to kick it back in just a hair. Okay. okay. So we're, we're basically going to take the whole mechanism, the whole slide out, and push it back out a we're little bit. We're basically going to take a little bit from that side and a little bit from this side and try to meet and in the middle somewhere. Meet in the middle, and that's the best we can do with the square box. So the slide out adjustments are very finicky. So we might not be able to get it. Uh, it, like I said, it's a square box. Oh, we're, I know. It took me like 15 tries to get what I did, and I literally tried to move it an eighth of an inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's how it works on these guys. All right. So, what did we decide we're gonna adjust? This is my main actuator. This is my main hydraulic cylinder right here. Um, so this is what actually pulls the slide in and out. Up under the frame right here, we can't see. There is what it rides on is a gear pack, uh, two roller wheels, a gear pack in the middle with a bar that runs in between to tie this side into that side. So there's only, physically, there's only one side that's being pushed in and out. But they tie together. Uh, back and forth that way. Do like a rack and pinion. They yep. Okay. Yes, sir. Yep. So what we're going to do is adjust this nut out a little bit. We don't want to, we're already going our full extension on the opposing side coming out this direction. Okay. So by adjusting this nut out a little bit, this side of the slide is not going to close as tight. Um, with that being said, after we do that, that side over there is going to be out further than what it was because we already adjusted it. So we're going to have to kick that side back in just a little bit basically we're just going to square it up the best we can where it's not sucking in all the way over here and still not hitting in there on the on the fireplace area all right cool now is there like a trick to how many turns equals how much or are you just kind of wing it well i mean it, it if you if you physically look at it so um where we were we were sitting about i would say an eighth inch yeah. so um looking at it physically being all the way in looks like to me we should come back out maybe uh maybe a half inch you really don't want to go too much with these systems okay. so if i if i pull this nut out to where i can see a half inch to you know uh three quarters of an inch somewhere in that nature so basically you're gonna you're gonna add an eighth inch of travel to it and see what it looks like yeah yep. okay yeah so physically looking at this gap we'll physically basically looking at that gap. okay That's pretty yeah, awesome. I like that. I can live with that. So now the problem is we fix that side. We have this huge gap right here. So yeah, now I gotta adjust this in. Explain this to me, because I've done this one before, and this is the one where I think I made the problem worse. Um, this this is what you adjusted. Yeah, correct. Um, basically, I'm gonna try to put it about where it was. I can see my line up top up uh -huh. here where it was. That's gonna kick this in about a half inch or so. We don't want to go too much because we don't want to run into our Fire our fireplace in there or our trim in there for that fireplace so i'm gonna loosen this nut up i'm gonna try to back put my back up against it uh -huh. we're gonna have uh your wife there try to bump it out so that um basically we're, we're just It'll forcing drive it. itself back into his home it, position it, sh it should all right you ready yes sir oh may have overshot it we're close that was every bit of it We just got our slide ski replaced and we made quite a few adjustments to this main slide right here so up in the front he adjusted the in out cylinder 
and then we came back here and he kicked the back of the slide in just a hair so we compressed the bulb we ran it in four or five times and we liked the travel and we liked the way it's sealing against the bulbs it's a pretty easy job but it's a lot easier when you have someone who knows what they're doing come out and help you do it